Well, here's your latest update for the expected and ongoing snow across uh, much of the area. Start by taking a look at our watches, warnings, and advisories. As you can see, there is some pink. Those are winter storm warnings. We did upgrade all the watches to warnings. Also, I had the Wind River Range, includes South Pass, and also the Absorcus. Winter weather advisories also not quite as much snow, but some impact includes the I-80 corridor, Evanston, all the way over toward Rollins. Also here across uh, the Pinedale area, and also a building's added one up in the Sheridan County as well. If you want to start and end times on this, let's go to our website right there, weather.gov slash rw. We'll start by taking a look at the uh, impacts across the area, timing them out. On Thursday, still continuing in the west. It's already ongoing across much of the area. It's doing pretty good at Jackson as I'm taping this about 4.30 in the morning. Steady east in the morning, a, low, a little break in the afternoon, though. And then uh, mainly dry east of the divide. Could be a couple of snow showers around, especially, say, Jefferson City to Casper, also up in the northern portions of the state. Not really any accumulation out of this. Now, the main part of the storm comes into the west on uh, Wednesday night. Steady snow developing. Heavy at times. I think the heaviest snow there will fall between about 9 uh, tonight and about 4 or 5 in the morning. Could be 1 to 2 inch rate, snowfall rates an hour there, especially the higher elevations. Strong wind developing as well. Could be one gust of 40, 50 miles per hour. They're blowing and drifting that snow around. Teton Pass, Togedy Pass, they're not going to be any fun to go over tonight. And on Thursday, proving conditions across the uh, west as it snow shifts east of the divide. More of a showery snow here, though. But some pretty strong winds developing as well, especially across northern Wyoming as we get toward the morning hours on Thursday. And speaking of those winds, see the strongest winds. This will be Wednesday night into Thursday morning across uh, the Wind River Range. Now, the very highest gusts are going to be in the top of the peaks. Unless you're Darwin or winter, nobody goes climbing a mountain in the middle of the winter. But it could be gusts to 50, 60 across South Pass right here. Second impact, people. Now, uh, places where people actually live, 40 miles per hour across uh, the Jackson Valley, maybe a little bit higher across the Tetons, obviously. 40 to 50 here across the I-80 corridors, anywhere from this afternoon to Thursday. Now, the winds around Jeffrey City and Casper, this will be mainly this morning. That might be a little overdone at Jeffrey City early this morning. It should decrease a little bit at Casper. This is mainly on outer dry. But the main now push east of the divide, mainly across the north Buffalo, over toward Grable, gusts to 40, 50, especially on Thursday morning when the front drops through here. And they could, any snow that falls could blow and drift around and cause some difficult travel conditions there. Now we take a look at the snow. Probabilistic stuff to start out with. It's a chance of seeing one inch or more. Across the west, it's pretty much 100%. I'm not going to talk about that very much. Very good chance across uh, I-80 as well, where we have the uh, advisors out. Now, east of the divide, best chance of seeing an inch of snow. Cody, Buffalo, Denver, Casper, anywhere from about a 1 in 4 to about a 2 in 5 chance. Least, least chance, probably here across the Wind River Basin, not too much there. Now, we bumped this up to 8 inches or more. That's going to be restricted to areas west of the divide. Focus on the western valleys, anywhere from about a 50 to a 75% chance of seeing at least 8 inches there, and 100% chance across the mountains. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, range of snowfall, this is a low end of the mountain. I see at least 6 inches across the western valleys, at least 12 to 18 inches across the Tetons. That's going to be the epicenter of the storm. Eastern Divide, if we don't get a lot of snow here, if the moisture moves out a lot quicker, maybe just a coating, maybe just a few flakes flying through the air. Now, Worst case scenario, if you don't like snow, like the maximum amount, anywhere from about one to two, maybe three inches across areas east of the divide, about one to three across the I-80 corridor, but obviously your focus is up here across the west. Likely high end about anywhere from about eight to 14 inches across the uh, western valleys. Hardest hit area, I think, from this will probably be Alpine, maybe 15, maybe 16 inches there. If you think set up right, and the highest amounts, take a look at this, across the Tetons. There's a couple of small dots in here. You might not be able to see them, but that indicates possibly if things set up right, maybe three feet of new snow on top of the mountains. There's a lot of fresh powder building up in the ski slopes out here. But our most likely a forecast we have out areas east of I, not looking a lot, maybe a coating to one to two inches. Best chance of seeing that accumulation. Cody, Sheridan, down toward Buffalo, and also down here across the Casper area. Now, west of I, it's where the main impacts are going to be. About 8 to 12 inches across the western valleys, about 1 to 2 feet across the higher elevations of the Tetons, about 10 to 18 in the Salt Wyoming range, 2 to 4 anywhere from Pinedale down toward uh, Kemmerer, and about 1 to 2, maybe 3 inches here across the I-80 corridor, a little bit more in Evanston as well. And one more thing we want to focus on, some cold air coming in behind this. It's going to warm up a little bit today, but then cool off again as we get toward Thursday, Thursday night. Not as cold as it has been. The areas east of the divide, especially the Bighorn Basin, Winter River Basin, and Johnson County, because see low temperatures in the teens below zero 
when you wake up on Friday morning. These are resources. You want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Road conditions, again, don't call us for road conditions. Go to YDOT for this. Why well, wrote that info on the web? You want to call them if you're in state, 511 out of state, 188 Wild Road. Now, you want to look at those webcams for yourself. We have a great site of that on our webpage. Go to our webpage, click on the local programs tab, then the webcams tab. We have uh, webcams from all over the state. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your day.